watch why your swing is a little late from time to time. And it's a little late because of your setup. So we're good here. Now watch as the ball gets on top of you. And it's right here. Oh, that's the ball behind you. Okay. That's because the pitcher's. All right. So we're going right here. And watch how you're not on top of the baseball. And you see the head's down, which is good. So we, we like this fact that it's down. But the bat should be out right here. You see what it is? As opposed to back here. So you're going to be a little late on it. See? And you follow it off. As opposed to being on top of the ball. So now, let's try and see how you get to the baseball a little bit better, which could be right here. Now, I want you to look at how this comes up. Remember, this shouldn't come up, and this is why your front shoulder is down. Because the the weight to, the weight on your shoulders is it's gone up, the hand goes up, see, and then the bat disappears, and that's why you never get to the fastball in time. And this is going to be a slider, which you're probably not going to hit, see, and your body's going this way when it should be going full, leave this way, but because you're doing that little hitch on the side. It really doesn't get to the ball. And I mean, this is okay, but you should be driving a baseball. And why are they playing you over that way? I don't know. So let's watch it from the side here. Now watch this disappear. See it goes back. See how it goes see how this goes up. And now you have to correct everything. See, the hitting zone is here. That's where the hitting zone is. Right here. Let's see how you get to the knob to the baseball. That's a ball. So we're just gonna watch how you get the knob to the ball and how you stay. But the bat is out of the hitting zone, so therefore you, you're trying to correct it all the time. And that's why you're kind of slow to the ball from time to time. And you're going to a different level where guys are going to be throwing the ball 97, 98, 99, 100, 101. So you can't be late. So your hands have to go back. They can't go up and out of the strike zone. But let's go right here. Let's go right about here and just see where you are. You're down, 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 back, back, back. All right, hands go up and out of the strike zone. And why can't I get that? Right there. Let's see what there. Your butt's kind of going the other way. And that backward circle. We call it backward L. You know, the athleticism is great. Let's see how this is up here and it 
until you get that whole way here. And that's not what you want as a hitter. You want to be kind of square through the baseball. And this is not square up this part. And because you have great hand-eye coordination, you can get through it. All right? Now, you correct it, but look how this hand's all the way up here. The front side. I'm driving off the back side. This is great, but you, you, you correct it so much to get to the baseball as opposed to just having a correct swing through the ball anyway. And see how late you are and you're hitting the ball at right field. When, and, and that's because you got your hands all the way up and your speed is kind of shaky right there. Um, and watch it. And watch right here. Watch this disappear. Watch your shoulders and everything disappear. It's like disappear, disappear, disappear. See? Look how that is. That's all disappeared. This should be going backwards. And you just go forward. And now, this is out. Uh, this is actually out of the hitting, you know, stage. And now you, you kind of correct it. But it takes so much time to get there. See, the, see? even the ball's like up there in the whole nine. And if you start if you correct that little part and get that extra millisecond you'll be square to the baseball and on the baseball as opposed to fouling the ball off or sometimes just hitting the ball to right field as opposed to driving the ball right field see you go back and then and then you kind of have a hitch which is your load and your the whole front side is out of whack. Uh, I think he almost hit you in the head uh, leg with that. Yeah, down goes Harris, down goes Harris. And right there, see? And you never really get there, see? And you rotate, and the rotation is good, but the hands are out of the zone. And see how the ball's right right there? And your hands are right there? The ball's right. And that's actually that's actually a strike. And so you're getting to the ball a little bit too late to really get there because of the load. Your load is kind of crazy. Hands out of the strike zone, see? It's behind your head. Your right hand is behind your head, practically. So, that's cray-cray. And that's, a, that's another fastball to right down the middle. And so, guys going to throw the ball 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 miles per hour, he's going to get you always late. So, you have to kind of make that a little bit shorter. And keep everything else right here. That's what that should, it should be right there. And that should be enough. But as opposed to going behind your neck and then getting in. And you can tell this, I can tell, not even looking at this, this is going to go to right field. Because all this is, you know, there's nothing that's kind of supporting it. This knee should already be driving into the back foot. See? And you just throw your hands at it, and yeah. So my suggestion to you, Mr. Harris, is that you need to get your hands staying in the strike zone a little longer. You know, and those balls should be out of the ballpark in right field if you drive the baseball and stop this crazy nuts. With, with this load. <laughs> the load is back and forward, not up, out. See how you don't get there? And that's why you don't get to that ball. So, you, so work on that load a little bit, young man. Work on that load. 